Hello, welcome to my video. I am just showing some Paint 3D of what I am about to build. Um, some of it's already been built. Uh, bear with me. We are going to just show about 30 seconds of the base that I'm actually going to try to recreate. This is from a game called The Forest. It's only going to last about 30 seconds. Don't worry. We will be going back to Paint 3D. It's got double walls of protection. Mutants attack at various times. We've got tree platforms, staircases, and it requires a lot of building. I'm playing with a friend. And when we are done with this, we are now in Paint 3D. Some of the building of this level in Paint 3D, just for fun, is my very first project ever. I do have the video sped up, so please don't expect this to be a how-to video. Um, I'm just showing that you can create 3D worlds, um, 3D objects, and place them within the Paint 3D app, which comes automatically for free with Windows 10. It's very important to copy and paste a lot. Copy and pasting allows for you to do things much quicker, obviously. I was at first building the walls one at a time each post. This is where I'm going to show those brown platforms that you can stand on. It's just start with a 3D object box, squish it down, you can color it, and then you can even go to textures and choose a wooden texture to place on it. That's what I've done here. Just moving the texture around. Right click changes your camera view. I backed out of it with Control Z. And now these are the wooden fence posts that I built. I basically just started with a large tube, squished it down, made it longer, placed it closer to the ground. Just wait until you see it kind of disappear and reappear. And then the, all the posts in the game had spiked tops. So you just use the rotation tools and with a little bit of movement, get it closer to the ground, move it above, check to see how far more you need to go, move it closer, right click, check again, move it closer, and position it. And then select it, control, click, click, selects the two objects, and then you can put textures onto it. Clicking on the left side of the texture button will maintain that same texture again. And then when you select the whole thing, you can copy it and paste it, control C, copies. Control V pastes, and then this is how I made the long sections of wall was just with creating segments of about four or five posts in a row, selecting them all, copy, click outside, paste, Control V, and then I was able to build my walls quickly that way. And I'm just backing out of it with Control Z again, which is your undo shortcut. Moving some of the objects around, it's recommended if you're building a 3D scene to move objects around from the top down view. Because if you move the object from the side view, you'll actually also change its height. And I wanted to maintain its height since I had already stuck them to the ground or had the platforms at the height I wanted. Over here on the base is a gate, and so I'm just angling a couple of of the wooden pedestals just so that they can make it look like there's a gate there. Now I'm going to fill in that gap, selecting some of the posts I've already made and just kind of sliding it into place. We need a few more platforms, so I'm copying and pasting those. This is supposed to be a gap that you can run through, so I had to delete a few. These are stairs that are prefab stairs 
that you can find within the Paint 3D program. You just do a search under 3D objects for stairs. You're going to see me redo the two trees. Both trees are going to become different trees. I didn't actually like those. And you do it the same way to find stairs or to find the zombies that I've placed out on the ground or the two archers which are going to be placed on the platforms that are already in there. One of them's on a platform, one of them's floating in the air. That's just to represent myself and my friend that I'm playing the forest with. We'll rotate objects, place them, right click to look around to make sure it's in the right place. There I'm selecting the other player and putting them on there. Here we're looking for a replacement tree. The tree is too big, it's not quite the right size, so I'm angling it from the side to change it. And then from the side, I'm going to make it taller once I get it to about the right size I want, but I do want it taller. We're going to get rid of the two trees and move it into place, always looking with a right click to make sure it's in the middle of that tree platform that we've put in the game. And now we have two new trees. Each of the platforms that I have already are just floating in midair, so this is a process of just making another post, placing it on the ground, and putting it underneath each of the wooden platforms. It's a lot of trial and error until you get it the right height. You can change its color, of course. Position it again, always best to do from the top down view. So you use right click to look around, copy and paste, keep placing them. There's lots of videos on YouTube that's going to show you how to do a lot of these steps. I looked at a few of them, learned the basics, and then through trial and error just basically started filling things in one piece at a time. I'm now just retexturing a few posts that I had forgotten to texture before. It's tricky when something's in the way. You gotta have just the right angle to see it. Okay, now I'm gonna just show how did I make that ground look kinda like grass and have a pathway. I chose a texture that was really, I think, bushes. I didn't like that they would look like bushes, so I made them much smaller, and that allowed for it to kind of look like grass. And if you use the left click, or the left white object there, I know I'm not describing it very well, um, you can place multiples just by pressing enter as you drag it around. Just hit enter, 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 and you'll place a number of them. I'm sorry, this is not a great how-to video, and I, I mentioned that before. It's just, I'm just showing myself quickly creating this. You can make screenshots, screenshots. I'm not taking any at the moment of different angles. First time ever, I'm now actually saving it as a 3D object my whole level and I'm going to load it into a program that I've also never used before. It's also for free with Windows 10. This is actually the first time I've ever loaded it. So you save it as a GLP file I guess and then you you load it up, so I'm just testing this out. I go and find it in my C temp folder. Doesn't take long to load. When you have that many objects in 3D Paint, though, it does take a while to save. My whole level was generally taking, at this point, about a minute to save, maybe 40, 45 seconds. So I'm just moving it around to see if you can get different angles that you couldn't achieve normally in Paint 3D. And I could never look at it from this side well. 
So that helps a little. You can change the lighting. Kind of make it look like nighttime. I'm not able to teach at all about this program. Apparently you can look at the, all the pixels. Gives you a pixel count. So this is really just a video to give you an idea of, hey, something you could try to do on your own. In 3D Paint, you, can, you don't have to just make an, a single object. You can make an actual scene. Save it, show it to your friends, something like that. So, thanks for watching.